Did you know that red, yellow, and blue are not the primary colors? Yeah, it's because cyan, magenta, and yellow is a more optimal choice of subtractive primaries that will yield in a more expansive color gamut due to the relative and absorptive qualities of the pigments to best regulate the wavelength levels produced by light, namely the red, green, and blue wavelengths. What? In order to better understand color management, we need to understand how our tools create different colors. And that begins with understanding a concept called color models. Hello, and welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Carlos, and in this video, I'm gonna break down what a color model is and how it works. Put simply, a color model is a system used to create different colors from a small set of primary colors. For an example, you may have been taught as a child that red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors, and that by mixing them together, you can get all the other colors. This isn't entirely accurate, but we'll talk more about that later. But it's that same principle. By taking a small set of base colors in order to create other colors, you've created a system called a color model. Now, it's not just about combining colors. As we learned in my video on manual calibration, Light is an important factor in color. The way light acts produces two categories of color models, additive and subtractive. Additive is when you add different lights from the spectrum together to get other colors. And subtractive is when light hits an object and lights from the spectrum are absorbed or subtracted and the other colors are reflected into our eyes. To put simply, anything that uses light to produce color is additive, while any physical medium that absorbs and reflects light is subtractive. Two of the most optimal color models we have are RGB and CMY, also referred to as CMYK. RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue, is an additive color model, while CMYK, which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, is a subtractive color model. Let's take a look at how this works. Here we have red, green, and blue lights, but you'll notice the background is white. That's the additive color model. Equal parts of red plus green plus blue equals white. Now, if I place something in front of them, you'll notice that it casts different colored shadows. But why are the shadows not red, green, and blue? Why are the shadows cyan, magenta, and yellow? Let's start by turning off the green and the blue lights. which leaves us with red. Now, if I hold up the rod, I'll get a dark shadow. The shadow is the only area the red light is not hitting. So the red light is being subtracted from that area. Now let's turn on the blue light. This gives us magenta. Red plus blue equals magenta. Now, if I hold up the rod, you'll notice I have two shadows, red and blue. This shadow is from the red light, while this shadow is from the blue light. As the light travels from the red light, it gets blocked by the rod and is subtracted from the magenta. When we subtract red from magenta, we're left with blue. Now let's turn all the lights on. And remember that red plus green plus blue equals white. Now when I hold the rod up, we now understand where the magenta shadow is coming from. The green light is being blocked by the rod. So the green light is being subtracted from the white, but the red and the blue lights are still there combining to make magenta. So we can see that magenta is a color that comes about from subtraction, making it one of the primary subtractive colors. Now that you know how the magenta shadow is made, can you tell me how the yellow and the cyan shadows are made? Put your answers in the comments below. So we know that RGB is an additive color model and the subtraction of those colors produces a set of primaries for the subtractive color model, CMY or CMYK. We also know that as an additive color model, RGB uses light to produce color, which means any tools that we use that use light to show color 
uses the RGB color model. Tools like your computer monitor, your smartphone, your camera, scanners, projectors, TVs, all use the RGB color model. The tools that use the CMYK model, the subtractive model, will be things that subtract light or absorb light from the full spectrum. These will be things like paint, pastels, ink, printers, colored pencils, all use the CMYK model. Earlier, I mentioned that red, yellow, and blue is not really an accurate representation of the primary colors. While yes, you can combine them to get a variety of colors, a color gamut, cyan, magenta, and yellow being the direct opposites of the RGB model are more optimized for mixing and will produce a much larger color gamut. In regards to color management though, it's the RGB model that we need to be concerned with as that's what our computers and cameras use to produce color. If you have any questions about color management or color models, feel free to put them in the comments below. For future videos, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. In order to better...